hello guys welcome once again and welcome to my channel today in this video we'll be talking about a problem which i am facing on my project the problem is regarding course policy so how to solve this today i will be showing you how you can solve this issue so let's get start with the video agar aapne mere channel ko subscribe nahi kiya hai to channel ko kare subscribe aur sath hi sath dabaye bell ka icon जिससे जब भी मैं नया वीडियो डालूँ आपको नोटिफिकेशन मिलती रहे सो गाइज बेसिकली आई हैव बीन क्रिएटिंग अ प्रोजेक्ट हियर एंड वाइल कॉलिंग अ सर्विस आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अ सर्विस लेट मी शो यू सो दिस इज माय सर्विस यू कैन सी हियर आई हैव कॉल्ड गेट सी एम एस डेटा एंड आई एम सेंडिंग सम पोस्ट डेटा फ्रॉम हियर टू दिस दिस सर्विस दिस ए पी आई एंड आई हैव कंसोल्ड दी एर ऑल्सो सो वाइल आई एम कॉलिंग दिस सर्विस फ्रॉम माई होम कम्पोनेंट आई एम गेटिंग दिस एरर हियर यू कैन सी यर एक्स एम एल एस टी टी रिक्वेस्ट एट दिस फ्राम ओरिजिन दिस हैज़ बीन ब्लॉक्ड बाई कॉर्स पॉलिसी सो वॉट इज कॉर्स पॉलिसी कॉर्स पॉलिसी स्टैंड फॉर क्रॉस ओरिजिन रिसोर्स सर्वर सो बेसिकली द प्रॉब्लम इज बिकॉज आई एम रिक्वेस्टिंग यू नो टू गैट डेटा फ्रॉम अनदर यू आर एल सो दैट्स वाई इट्स 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 ट्रोइंग एरर बाय डिफॉल्ट it has been blocked by the browser that you cannot you know get data from other server or from other url if you are using some another origin so basically you have to you have to you know enable this cross uh, cross origin and then only you will be able to you know get data from other server this is just because of you know security purpose so let me show you how you can fix this so for that what you have to do you have to just go to your api where you have you know been calling your api and then you will get a st access file here so in the st access file you have to add few lines which i will be showing you so these three are the you know important files uh, i mean lines which you have to add in your st access so whenever the you know api will be called then this will allow enable the origin access and allow header access so what methods we will be using from angular post get op uh, delete and put we do not use option so you can remove this if you want so these four methods will be using from our angular project to get data or to update data or to delete data okay so guys uh, here you can see here what i have written header set a uh, access control allow origin so star means this will allow all the you know urls urls from getting data if i want to get data from another url it will be access if you want a particular url so then you have to you know provide a particular url suppose you are using this so you have to just copy this and you have to just write here like this so only whatever request will be you know you requested from this url will be accepted rest all will be uh, you know th uh, throwing this error the same error you have to set the methods which all methods you will be using and then you have to set the headers to star so whenever i want to you know add any header i suppose i want to send a token for authorization of user so you know this will allow that i can use headers also so in this way the problem will be solved you have to just enter these three line in your dot stxs file where you have kept your api so the api is inside my this so let me run and show you again now it won't it won't be throwing error so you can see here the error has been gone and if i again remove this if i again remove this and if i click on save button and if i run again then again it will throw the same error same course error you can see here and this if i want to fix this you have to use these three line and i have been using php for my api api so so the problem has been solved you can see here data is coming success and response is coming 200 so in this way you can solve this problem so that's all for today's video if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have any query you can drop your comments below the video i will surely help you thanks for watching this video and bye for now